There. Hey, everybody. It's time for some Dead Space 2. My absolute favorite game of all time. I'm very happy to be playing this. And I'm going to talk a lot about shit that no one probably even cares about. However, I'll do it as I play. So we might as well get started. Uh, we'll go with a new game. We don't really need to see what's going on in Dead Space 1. Uh, I'll probably talk about that because it's easier than watching that. Uh, let's see. Now, I have actually done hardcore mode. Fun fact, hard doing hardcore mode gets you a special awesome weapon. Which completely destroys any challenge in the game whatsoever. It's completely broken. It's hilarious, though. Fun fact, it doesn't work on the PC version. You don't get it. I actually had to get a hacked uh, save file in order to get that item out of uh, the game data. And then actually be able to use it. Which pissed me off to no end because I fucking did it myself the right way. Uh, I guess we're going to go with... Uh Brutalize. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I don't know how hard I actually want that. I can go casual. Zealot or survivalist? Hmm. Ah. Um. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. I don't know if I've ever played Zealot before. So, odd way to start the game, the first scene is the worst scene in the game. The second scene is the best scene in the game, so they make up for it very quickly. In case you didn't know what we were playing. Oh, by the way, that's your, uh, that's your now Come dead in, girlfriend. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Spoils, I but you know. It's okay. How you doing? Good. You're right, Isaac. The Ishmael is a great ship. I am so lucky to be serving aboard her. I'll enjoy it while it lasts. You know they're gonna decommission her next year. Isaac. Isaac threw that Thank shit you. into a fucking planet. For what? For just pushing me to do this. I mean, if it weren't for you, I never would have made it this far, because you made me stick with it. I'll just remember, I'm giving you up for six months so you can do this. You know what? We must be getting on a range there, Isaac. 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 Frosty! Gold! Isaac! You were drifting away for a moment there, Mr. Clark. I believe you were telling me about oh. your nightmares that you've been having. About your dead girlfriend. What was her name? Nicole. I didn't want it to end like this. I really wanted to see you again. Just yeah, once. she committed suicide as opposed to being you. ripped apart by monsters I while she was alive. You. So yes. really it was a good call Nicole on her part. Brennan. She was a senior medical officer stationed aboard a Planet Cracker class vessel. Ishimura. USG Ishimura, yes. Crispers? Part of a mining operation on Aegis 7. I understand communications went down shortly after their arrival. You were part of the repair mission. A mission for which you volunteered, am I right? What did you find aboard that ship, Isaac? Bad shit. They found something. What did they find aboard the ship, Isaac? The marker. Did you have contact with this marker? Good call, Goat. I'll get you good subtitles. It made you see things, didn't it? Things you didn't want to see. It spoke to me. What did it say, Isaac? What did it say to you, Isaac? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Isaac, my god! Isaac, It's the dumbest. I think that's the dumbest scene. Followed Isaac. by this. Isaac, pay attention. Can you hear me? Dana, I 
found Isaac Clark. Repeat, I have him. Great work, Franco. Be careful. He's been out a long time. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Good, good. Steady, steady, steady. We gotta get you out of this straitjacket. Where, where am I? All right, I, I know you're confused right now. I can explain everything, but you gotta trust me, okay? Listen, you're in terrible, terrible danger. <laughs> Uh, headbutt. Franco? Franco, what happened? Oh god. Isaac. Fucking run. Oh, the monsters. God. Whew. So yeah. Shit's gone bad real quick. Doesn't look like they do very good uh Oh, oh, hey, look at this. Probably a good time to save. Uh, yeah. Oh, I did beat Zell at some point. Sweet. Let's, uh... Fuck it. I'm doing Zell again. Yeah. Alright, let me get those subtitles up. I apologize for that. There we are. So let me turn down the volume on a few things just a little bit. I'll leave the voices up. About 90, I think. There we go. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, he had a fun ride. What I love about this game is it really doesn't fuck around at any point. There is no point when it holds your hand or really does anything for you. It just kind of shows you things as they happen and expects you to learn how to deal with it. Oh. And there's a lot of neat little things like this. <laughs> Yeah, my eyes are looking much better today, yes, don't you think? <laughs> it hurts. It still hurts. Yes, I'll schedule you for another trip tomorrow. Nolan Strauss. Oh, no, no, I, I don't think I'm ready. I, I don't think I Just some random guy, I'm sure. Why do the zombies made of insane asylum victims have more on them than the corpses of soldiers? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Because it does actually matter who they, uh... You'll see, there is a difference later on. You look like you're good, right? Come on, man. Thank you for... I remember you. <laughs> I don't... I said we... All the key subjects need to be eliminated. Terminated. <laughs> Listen to me, man. Will it matter? Listen to me! We can both get out of here. Just, just cut me out of the straight jacket. No one's getting out of here alive. Don't do it. There's 
There's no escaping from what I've done. <laughs> take it easy, buddy. Just take it easy. Your rig is red. It's red. It's a health bag and a flashlight in that wall locker. You should grab them. Hey, Taylor, this is the best movie game I've ever fucking played. Go ahead. <clears throat> take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Nope, they wanted me to do things. Isaac, we're all gonna burn for what we did to you. Wow, good talk. Hi, Isaac Clark, is that you? Who are you? My name is Dana. I'm the one trying to rescue you. Why? What's going on? You're suffering from a unique form of dementia, Isaac. Something you contracted on age of seven. How do you know that? How do you know all this about me? Your dementia will kill you. But if you can get here, I can treat you and get you to safety. Well, look at that. I trust you. Because I'm not the one to <clears throat> Fuck. Just follow the route I'm sending you. Well, that's good. Someone's gonna save me. All I have to do is get to them. Clearly, nothing bad will happen between here or there, or at the destination. It'll be fine. So, there's a, I think there's a little bit before actual people start talking again. Uh, Dead Space 2 takes after the events of Dead Space 1. Who would have thought? Now, essentially... What happened on Dead Space 1 was you are Isaac Clarke, an engineer, uh, coming over to help the Ishimura wor a, uh, world planet cracker class uh, ship. You know, mining it for resources. Ah, uh, jump scare. Uh, mining it for resources, that kind of stuff. Now when they get there, uh, shit goes bad pretty quick because they find something called the Marker. And the marker is some sort of alien crazy bullshit that, uh, it's not clear how it begins, but once it's, once monsters start coming, they, uh, they start fucking people up pretty quick. The moment one kills you, uh, you're dead. But then, if one of their other little friends gets to you, it looks kind of like a, kind of like a mana ray, something floppy, and it can... Looks like it can almost fly. If that thing happens to get to you, you turn into a monster, like, uh, within five seconds or so, maybe ten, if you're... Oh. Oh, well, that, that was weird. Uh, so yeah. So, the way you change is really cool, and it happens really quick, so it's... believable as to why, uh why people can get overwhelmed so easily. There's obviously a variety of monsters. And a variety of ways for them to kill you. And they're all pretty horrifying. Now what happened when you actually got to the Ishimura is everyone was pretty much already dead. You had to do some dumb shit. Yes, I'm, I'm the best at talking to her. Oh. Why are you helping me? If Tideman finds you, more people will die. Including me. Not if you follow my route. I don't like this. You don't have to like it. Just hurry before you get locked in. Alright. So as you're moving along, doing things, uh, you're talking with your girlfriend, who you believe at the time is still totally alive and totally fine. She's actually been dead the whole time. The marker is speaking with you telepathically, completely fucking with you, trying to get you to, uh... It's actually trying to get you to put it back where it came from for some reason. Oh, fucking up already. I 
fucking love this gun, this weapon. Basically, you can kinetically pick up any object, including the large blade arms of fallen foes, and shoot them straight through enemies. Like so. Very, very effective. Oh, don't forget. Isaac Clark is also the world's has the world's has the universe's strongest legs. Uh, he can pretty much snap anything. He can rip limbs off here and there with just a stomp of his foot. He's pretty much a badass. Oh yeah, I wanted to actually bring. I want to bring one of these with me if I can. I don't know if I. Okay, I cannot. Never mind. Oh, I believe everything about this game is better than the first game, honestly. Uh, so yeah, you go through, you manage to put the marker back, uh, you throw the Ishimura into the planet by accident, because you've been trying to get out of orbit, but it just, uh... You don't really have a choice at a certain point. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty much the first one. You're just some guy thrust into a really fucking bad situation. And you have to deal with it. And it's in. At no point are you action guy, man. You're just a fucking engineer. There are action guys around you, and they all fucking die because they're all dumb. Every time Isaac comes against a problem, he actually uses his intelligence as an engineer and manage to get through it. Kind of like Gordon Freeman, but without an actual personality. And less vent crawling. And where am I going? Here we go. Did I grab that one? Yes. And let's see. Frosty! Don't spoil! No spoils, Frosty. Come on. Other people, most I think most of the people watching right now have n have not played this game before. So yeah, the Shimura fell, got all fucked up. I don't remember to see. He's just full of stuff. He's full of goodies. No, in the first game, the Ishimura. Uh, falls down to the planet. Help! Help! You know what? You, I'll talk to you in a minute. What the fuck are you doing? Well, I'll just nothing. Everything's fine, go. That's fine. Why am I awake? You can stay over there. You're good. Can anyone hear me? Hey, you having a good time? Oh fuck, it's, he's uh he's having open heart surgery and um uh, he's, are you a doctor? he's fully awake. Come on, bud, let's get you Calm out of here. I'll cut you out of there. Is that a tissue laser? A plasma cutter? Uh oh. oh my God! Fuck! What the fuck are you doing? Oh, shit! Help! I'm trying! Help! I'm trying! I'm trying! I'm trying. Oh, Isaac, you didn't do this very good. Oh man, Taylor, this is nothing like Doom. This is nothing like Doom 3. Doom 3 was bad. Don't even compare, man. Don't even compare. The combat in this is amazingly good. It's very well balanced. And it's a lot of fun. Because the way you kill these things, which is the reason they're easily overcome people who haven't fought them before, you can't kill them by shooting them like in the torso or shooting their head off or anything like that. 
you actually have to uh, delimb them, typically. Or you cut them completely in half, but even then, uh, if they retain most of their limbs, they're gonna still keep moving, which is fucking crazy. Yes, the weapons are very good in this game. Each weapon is pretty amazing in their own way. Uh, I haven't decided what weapon I'm going for Isaac, yet. It's Dana. You have to dismember the creatures to stop them. I know. I've had a lot of practice. Just try to stay in one piece. Thanks. Isaac didn't really talk in the first game either. This is actually the first time Isaac's had a personality. And he has a really good, long character development process in this game, which I really appreciate. What's up, dead guy? I don't know why I can't just double click. So yeah. Is there anything over here? I haven't played this in a while, so I don't remember quite where everything is. I do pretty much know what's going to happen, though. Stomp, stomp, tastic. Seriously. Like to steal. Oh god damn it, that got me. I knew that was there and it still got me. They don't actually have too many jump scares, only in the beginning. He is super stuck on that wall. Have a chair. Have a chair. Have a fucking chair. I guess it's a wheelchair, but shut up. I don't know why things pop out of people, but hey, it's a video game. Your corpse. Game. There it is. Now I am playing Zealot, so I do have to really be careful with my ammo. So I'm gonna be using uh, the kinetic force a lot. Pretty much whenever possible. <laughs> yeah, sorry Frosty, that one is particularly loud. I don't think there are many more like that, though. I mean, there's some loud parts, which... Hmm, actually, something that's about to happen is going to be kind of loud. No, you know, fuck it. We'll see how loud it is. He didn't listen. He's a bad soldier. Damn it. He just won't shut up even when he's dead. Mm, let's go over here. What I love most about the way the enemies come in this game, most of the areas are pretty unique. So you won't feel like, oh, I've been in this room, in this style, and oh, look, there's the cover based combat. Isaac! Isaac, come on! Come on, oh. Wait, wait. Who is oh, I'm coming, man! I'm coming! Were you. Oh, no! I could have made that. If I had tried, if I believed in myself. Oh, well. Bye, Patient 5. Dana, your fucking route didn't work. There's a security lockdown. I told you to hurry. How'd you miss it? Look, I don't need your help. Fine. Let's see how long you last that. Shit. Shit's real. Okay, that ain't working. It ain't working like advertised.
Holy shit, that did a lot of damage. Okay, maybe I will try to turn the volume down just a bit more. Because I'm sure that was maybe a little too loud. Yeah, let's, let's do that a little bit, just, just real quick. There we go. Money! Okay, you're right. I do need your help. Stomp first. We don't have to be friends. But like it or not, we're stuck together. Tideman's your enemy, not me. Who the hell's Tideman? Alright, I found you a new route. Fine. So where the hell am I? How did another Necromorph outbreak get started? You're on Titan Station orbiting Saturn. As for the outbreak... <laughs> Shit! Tideman's jamming my signal! Well, Tideman's a prick, <gasps> clearly. But yes, they're actually, they're not zombies or aliens, they're necromorphs. And I think they're, they're not the most unique monster in the world, but I really like them. I haven't seen anything quite like them, they're not like the Flood from Halo. Because they don't act quite as quickly, nor are they... Actually, these act faster than the Flood, although they do act slightly differently. More importantly... Uh, Necromorphs are way more terrifying than the Flood, so there's that. Alright, what am I doing? That's a corpse, I gotta stop. <laughs> uh. And I think that's pretty much it on the backstory. Uh, Nicole's super dead. And then you kinda got out of there. And you woke up here, with no knowledge of what's in between. <laughs> And an actually not half bad uh, little mini game, showing that uh, as a way to pretend that you're uh, doing science. Bam! Oh, what I do so love how they stick to walls. So, that little meter on my back, the yellow one, and let's see, is there a stasis? There we are. I have two shots of this stasis stuff. It basically slows down anything and everything for a short amount of time. It's very handy shit. Uh. It's basically an oh shit, I am in trouble button. It must be used with, uh, used with care. You look like you're having a good time. Enter enemy number two. He likes to spit acid. One of the few enemies you actually really want to make sure you shoot their head off first. Otherwise you'll have a bad day. That's it down your face. Actually, I should let people kill me once in a while because the deaths are actually... Like, the deaths are really gruesome. Assuming you get one of the cutscene deaths. Power nodes everywhere. Power nodes everywhere! <laughs> Frosty, how much do you know about this game? Because you keep talking about stuff as if you've played before. 
Because we haven't heard anything about that yet. Oh, and as a general rule, I don't actually know... What oh. the fuck? Yep, just another day in the elevator. Mm. I don't think that was made by man. Oh no, it's a balloon! You know what I have to say about balloons. Bam! Fuck you is what. I'm not actually as familiar with the plot of Dead Space 1, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't man-made. I'm pretty sure that was an original marker. No one, not no human made that one, anyway. There's nothing over there. Oh yeah, neat thing, you can pick up items, so if anything's far away, you don't want to get near anything. Balloons just aren't natural, man. Oxygen in use. No smoking no smoking or open flame. Well, that oxygen canister's on fire, so I should probably <laughs> Oh, I fucking love love this scene. It's so fucking cool looking. And we're gonna get to see that a lot more. That was a safety scene though. There was no way I could actually have died in that. That was purely for me to see what was going on. But it looked threatening. And it looked like I needed to act fast. Hmm. He's just chilling. They like to play dead, by the way. They like to play dead twice, because he wasn't dead when he fell down. They're dicks like that, trust me. Let's see, I'll save it a second. Oh, what's this? There we are, money. Welcome to Microstorm, CEC Engineer That's what I'm talking about. Now all this bullshit you see here is because I bought the I pre-ordered the game. I'm not using any of that. I'm gonna only use the base gear. Which means I'm gonna be using this. Switching to my engineering outfit. Which I love the way they did this. This suit is very close in appearance to the end suit of the first game. So it's not like you have to start out like an idiot again. You actually start out pretty... It looks... It's very similar thematically to the badass suit of the first one. So you don't feel like you're taking a step back. It's full of all that nice armor and copper that probably has uses other than, you know... Where'd my mouse go? Oh, there it is. How do I... Filling out the navigation. No, no. How do I move from left to right? Oh, tab. Oh, whoa. No, that can't really be shift tab. One second, I gotta adjust some settings. Oh yeah, there's some multiplier. Never used it. Never cared. Yeah, see, Frosty, if you know about the black marker, you know you know a lot about the game, I'm just telling you. 
tab left. Hmm. So seven and nine, really? I mean, I'll figure it out eventually, I suppose. Oh, I can just hit... Okay, that works too. Okay, I can't buy anything else here. Uh, I have plenty of inventory space. I don't need to toss anything into the safe yet. Oh, then why do you keep... Ah, whatever. Just try not... Just try not to say too much. That's all I ask of you. I don't know if people really care about the plot, but I think it's a really good plot. It's actually one of the main reasons I love this game so much. I think the, the character development and the storyline uh, is really good. Let's see. Oh, there's a shiny. Hmm, it's hard to see. I don't think there's anything else. Also running a little low on. Oh no, I I have almost 100 seconds left. I know there's one power node. I don't remember if there's another item anywhere. Also, I do. I mean, for the time and even today, I think this looks really good. It actually looks better than Dead Space 3, although everything's better than Dead Space 3. There we go. Hmm, can't get through any doors. Well, there's that ship over there. Let's take a look. Vacuum does mean zero gravity, because we're out in space. We're not on a planet. What a giant ship. And first boss. Oh, jeez. Just calm it right down. Oh, why don't I have any more? I thought I had two. Where's the other one? Alright, well. There's the thing I'm looking for. Oh, I think I shot once. But I missed because he had jumped on me as I shot. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Told you. Okay, the tram station is just beyond the apartment block. Hang on. I need more answers. How long have I been here? Three years. Tideman found you floating in space near Aegis 7 and brought you here for study. Why don't I remember anything? The marker you found imprinted your brain with a self-replicating signal. The longer you're awake, the more the signal spreads. It's killing you, Isaac. Tyburn tried to keep it in check with memory suppressants. You said you could fix it, right? Only if you reach me in time. Tram station, get moving. So now we're on a time schedule here. I'm apparently gonna go fucking insane or something and die if I don't get some sort of cure. Says a lady, uh, mysterious lady. I'm looking for another item, but I can't see that. I don't know if it's over here. This game loves to hide stuff in places. It's one of those games where you can look around a lot and you'll always find something new. Especially power notes, which is actually the upgrade system for your weapons. It's kind of like an unlock path. But we'll be exploring that later. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of dead things all... You know, noroned up together and stitched together with... Necrosis? Necromorph powers. Talana's Q would be too, like, rigid, though. 
There'd be too much structure and too much sense made out of a cube. Nothing else down here. Mm. Oh, I missed. Yeah! Yeah, fuck you, supplies! Coils of wa wire my ass. Oh, time to do some vent crawling. Oh, hey, Davey. Sorry, I can't see all of the chat at the moment. Sorry you're not feeling great. And he always gets out facing away <laughs> facing facing towards the wall, so away from the room. Seems like a smart thing to do. I'm sure that will have no negative consequences in the future. And here we are. Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna go over here first. Ah, yes, now I can actually buy ammo. Uh, most of this shit I shouldn't see yet because. Nah, I don't have those weapons. Basically, anything that doesn't have a little symbol next to it, at least as far as equipment goes, is something I can buy or should be able to. I'm not going to waste my money now, because if I'm buying ammo, that means I'm doing it wrong. Uh, is there a save point? No. And actually, I'm going to come back to this bench. Let's just start piling those up. Damn it, am I getting ammo for guns I don't have? I hear something. I don't see something. Oh, this isn't the area I thought it was. Not to say I'm safe or anything, but it's not quite where I thought I was. Now, the thing is, is the power nodes, they up they're the only thing that's can up that can upgrade your weapons, but you also need them to enter rooms like this. So it's kind of one of those, how many have you found, do you think? It would be a good idea to enter one of these rooms. Almost every time, yes. Always use the power node to enter a room. Oh, I have stuff to sell, actually. You get semiconductors that are actually valuable. Whee! Caution! Caution! Yes, you get semiconductors that you can, uh... you can sell that are actually rather valuable. They serve no other purpose, they're just meant for selling, which is nice. I don't have to hold on to them because you do have a limited inventory. As you upgrade your suits, you do get more space. Uh, as Well, as you change suits, you get more space. And let's see, I think I might as well start off with some more damage. As you can see, there's a lot of paths you can take. I always just prioritize as to what I know I will actually care about. And then there's almost always a special ability at the very end of each weapon. Uh, the one for the plasma cut is rather nice. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Hmm. Yeah, I don't need any. Uh, hit points, hit points are always nice. 
I, I, you'll see about the air, because you can actually increase the air tank. Because there are some rather lengthy outside scenes. And... Uh, duration up. Yes. Yes, I'll take one of those. And we're pretty much set. Upgrading your health does actually fill your health bar, so if you're in a pinch, well, it's worthwhile. I keep hearing something growl. I swear there's something else around here. Maybe not. But enough about that. What's all this out here? He was angry. Oh, look at him there. And look at that! Now there's another one! Ready to go rape and pillage. Pretty fucking quick. Nope. Which means any corpses, any at all, have the potential to become horrifying monsters. That's a good sign. Well, good seeing you again. Good seeing you again. Isaac! Isaac, over here! Who are you? It's the drugs, Isaac. They gave us drugs to make us forget. But it's all coming. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you calling me? Isaac! Isaac, look out! Ooh, it's one of these. Oh god, it's one of these. Those guys are kind of nasty. They're really quick. They can jump on ceilings and shit. Kind of a pain in the ass. This guy is clearly relaxing. Well, there we go. Well, Taylor, you saw it. I really didn't have anywhere else to go. It's like I'm being railroaded on a plot type story or something. Thought she's doing well. We have to go. Oh no, no, I can't see who those people were. There are a lot of side areas though. We've got a chair. But a chair, you prick. This chair isn't very effective. I think I, I, I. There we go. Man. Man, you had a really. I think I just saw that guy a second ago. Doesn't that kind of look like that lady that was on the floor a second ago? I think that was her. Man, she gets around. She's just so full of energy. Also, I'd hate to live in this neighborhood. Look, how loud are they? Aim for the limbs, Davy. Specifically, aim for the limbs. Shut up! Shut up! How'd you even get yourself in there? Jesus. I might die here. I also love the, uh... 
the actual glow. Oh, he didn't die. There he goes. That was kind of close. <laughs> he was right in my face. Did I get where this? Where did his body go? They're not all pointy though. The legs aren't pointy on most of them. The arms are pointy for sure on most of them. Sometimes they have tails though. You can aim for the tail. Hitting their head, though. Hitting their head really doesn't do anything most of the time. <laughs> that was a dryer of lost souls. You know, it just might be. All the souls that... Everyone who dies here, their soul goes in that dryer. Fluffs them up a bit. Let me in! There's also a shit ton of logs. Most of them are pretty interesting. Yeah, Twitch can be kind of a bitch. There are necromorphs everywhere. Is the entire sprawl infected? How this happened? The marker was destroyed, Dana. I destroyed it. You destroyed a marker, Isaac. Tyvan built another one. Oh no! The station? Why? It's powerful alien technology. Tyvan wants that power. Get to the tram. It'll take you to the casino tower's premises. Dana? Damn it. Man, she needs to get another cell phone provider. Yes, please. I will save my game, because I survived that scene without dying. I can guarantee at least two deaths. I know two specific scenes that I usually don't do very well at. Possibly three. Otherwise, I should be okay. Anybody here? Nope. 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 That baby needs to shut the fuck up. Yeah. She it's better that way, really. Oh. It's really better if she's not alive for what's going to happen. I know I wouldn't want to experience that. Now, can we just... There we are. Oh. That door freaked out a little bit. Oh, that's not good. I saw another one. Where'd the other one go? Oh, he's way down there. You don't have any arms. Exactly where I'm going. 
Oh, this guy's neat. His arm is actually rather explosive for reasons I don't remember why. If you can actually hit it... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, these are some of the few guys on Zealot I wouldn't fuck with. They can instantly kill you if they hit you. Because it's basically just... An extremely... Can I not pick that up, really? Pick it up now? Can I pick it up now, yes. I already need to move shit into a fucking safe. TST! Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> That's a hell of a train. Oh god damn it, I can't pick up the schematic. All right, let's see. Wait. I need more inventory already. This is annoying. I'm just gonna deal with with these guys. Not, not to say anything bad is about to happen, but I think I want to deal with some of these guys. Okay. Well, if I get hurt, money. I mean, just on the off chance there's monsters around, I'd like to de-limb. Hey, look at that. It's actually a really good view of that. Yeah, you're not getting out here. Now, this guy, he could have turned every single one of these corpses into a monster, which would have made this sizably more difficult. Oh, you know what? Let's just, uh... Let's just go this... Uh, no, that's not a good idea. It actually boxed me in. I thought I heard a second one. guess not. Oh, fun fact, the stasis packs actually do, or your stasis energy does regenerate slowly over time. So if you're in a really bad spot, but you're not actively being attacked, you can just wait it out. Also, I think I want to drop something else. Don't care about those. Oh. And hey, kind of like Dark Souls, there's no pause menu. Or, rather, when you're looking at your inventory, there's no pause. Also, oh, this game loves giving you pointy things to shoot. Just saying. And then what we're looking here for is whenever it glows blue, which happened to be the same three spots, actually. Which is actually rather rare. Wow, he does not give a shit. Oh, that's not good. I'm really fucking slow, too, when that stuff hits you. Kinda... 
Assets is up all your junk. Alright, let me see. Uh, I'm just gonna keep walking. Trippin'. Oh, he actually had something on him. Huh. Okay, let me not fuck up the first... The first event. I can actually... Oh, that's loud. that opportunity. So, there are events where you're in zero gravity and you have to use your boosters to move forward. And every time you fuck up, it's instant death. But it's usually pretty obvious where you need to go. There's only a... Only a couple... Actually, only one that's really unclear where you're supposed to be. And I'll point that one out because I'll probably fuck it up. Hell shooter! And they have some interesting situations they put you in. Everything's upside down. Your act, your aiming, fortunately, is not completely. Hey, big guy, how you doing? you to the Cassini Towers residential sector. That big guy I shot the arm off of? That's actually, uh... Typically, they're much harder than that. Whoa. Too close. Why did I need any help? That's weird. I need to drop it, but... All I want the pulse, the pulse rifle. Now, the way it works is... Ooh, a stasis pack, and I can't... I can't pull that. The way it works is, until you have a gun, you shouldn't be getting ammo for it, or at least very infrequently. But because they gave me all of the guns to start with, I'm actually getting a lot of useless ammo, unfortunately like contact energy. That gun is amazing, but I don't have the gun right now, so I don't really care. But we're moving, cool. moving right along. Uh, 
Well, that's one we haven't seen before. Coming out of the woodwork, so to speak. The metalwork? Oh! Man, I knew that one was there when I forgot about it. Now he's super dead. Contact? No. Detonator mines. Don't give any fucks. Man. And you can sell ammo and items. Uh, Zealot mode is the hardest difficulty. It's actually harder than the difficulty when you only have three saves the entire game. Yeah, it's, it's the hardest setting. Things hurt ridiculous. They do ridiculous damage. They don't particularly take much more damage. I mean, compared to casual, absolutely. Uh, yeah, less ammo, less uh, money. Same amount of enemies, actually. I don't think the enemy amounts change all that much, if at all. But they do a lot more damage. But that doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. Guess what happens to children when they become necromorphs? Oh, yeah, it's not good. I think you're still alive. We can't talk. I think we're tracking our signals. Are the memories coming back to you? They're coming back to me. The good ones. And the bad ones. The more I remember, the more my head hurts. I keep seeing the symbols. The symbols too, Isaac. In him. I keep seeing his face. Shit, tell me. Oh, keep running, guy. Now, I think I got... Oh, here's some bodies. There we go. I think some despawned, because I know I shot a couple dead there, but that's fine. You don't actually need all of the ammo and items they give you. Ooh, here's what I've been looking for. Oh. Ooh, the money. Anything else? No? All right. Stasis back pulse rifle. That is what I'm talking about. Let's uh, let's make one of those. Let's back out. Let's sell that. Yes. Let's move it. Uh, no, I actually need that. Move, move, move. And that's so cheap, I'll buy a couple. Yeah, that's good. Uh, no, it is not possible to beat the game without firing a single bullet, because there are scenes where you specifically need to shoot something. So unfortunately, no, there is no, no shot Dead Space 2 run. I mean, you could exclude cutscene type areas, but I don't know. Maybe. There are a lot of cutscenes. Like, this game is made up of gameplay scenes and cutscene gameplay scenes. And they, se they put them together really well. But you usually have to shoot things. You're never going to sleep, Frosty. Never, ever. There's this crazy guy that keeps contacting me. I saw him back at the hospital. Nolan Strauss. He was a patient in the project, just like you. Yeah? Why was he there? Where's he watching? He's a psychopath, Isaac. Stay clear of him. He murdered his own wife and child. Okay, I'll be careful. Oh, well, that guy seemed okay, but I guess he's an asshole. Isaac Clark does not approve of murdering one's wife and child. 
He's not down for that. You know. <laughs> All right, see you, Frosty. Have a good one. I think the next save point, I'll actually be calling it a night myself. I just wanted to get, I wanted to get through this next part at least. Not the Disney version of Hercules, and that's the one I love. Or the Kevin Sorbo version. Dana, I thought you were routing me to residential. This looks like a unitology recruitment center. Am I still on track? Yes. There's an old maintenance access point in there that'll take you through the waste disposal system and into the Cassini Towers. Stay sharp. Unitology? It's actually the crazy religion of this world. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure unitology is also the, uh, the religion in Mass Effect. I believe they both use the same religion. And wait for it. And go. And stop. And you just gotta love living on a space station. It's It's got its perks. There are good things about it. But of course, it couldn't be that easy. Oh! I really should have taken this out. But I was too busy. One moment. Let's see. I don't know why it's the... W the one thing I don't get is why it's like this. Is that right? No. Come on. Okay. I wanted it to be one and two and it just wasn't... just wasn't working with me. Now give me your money, you damn children. Fucking kids, always just keeping their money. Just storing it like squirrels. Don't they understand how the economy works? Just jamming it into the necromorph body, it's never to be seen again. Crawling through the ducts. Hey, buddy. Okay. Whoever sees this, listen up. You can use kinesis to pull blades off dead ones and shoot it back at them. No way. Watch. Watch. I've stayed alive three hours using this trick. You see? Just shoot it back at them. <laughs> I'm gonna bleed out soon. I got clipped pretty bad earlier. So I hope this helps you out. Whoever you are. Cool survivor story, bro. I'll uh, reward you by making it so you cannot become a necromorph. There we go. You're welcome.
Now, the cool part about that video is that it's it's not too much in your face of, hey, player, do this so you're not fucking stupid if you hadn't caught on already. Let's see. Oh, I did say the next save point, so I'm not going to go back on that. But yeah, let me just finish what I was going to say. That's a nice little video. I appreciate it. The thing I don't like... Ooh, why don't we look at the bench? Is that Dead Space 3 actually takes that video instead of doing something unique or original and puts it in the game. It's really just... really just kind of pissed me off at the time. Eh, I'll wait. Uh, I think Mummy's probably not. But you could freeze someone and then, like if they're doubt dead in space, frozen, then those are definitely fair game. I would say moderate composition, they're still, you know, usable. But anyway, we'll continue this a little more another time. For now, thank you all for watching. I'm definitely putting this up on YouTube. Fucking favorite game ever. You can even fucking hear me right now. There we go. So yeah. Have a good night, everybody.